Litecoin to a hundred dollars in February 2020. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be doing a technical analysis and price prediction for Litecoin. I'll be sharing with you my reasons why I think Litecoin could go to a hundred dollars, and also, guys, I'll be sharing with you some trading strategies that you can use to buy litecoin if you're interested so this video guys is going to be more on price prediction and technical analysis i recommend you go watch my longer video on litecoin on litecoin fundamentals fungibility what i think is going on with the litecoin project it's a really good video if you're interested in litecoin fundamentally this video is going to be more technical analysis also guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification button to stay up to date with what I'm doing with Litecoin. Litecoin was my most profitable trade last year. If you guys remember, I made a video on Litecoin when it was less than $50 and it was my best trade. I sold most at 100 and I made another video saying that buy the rumor, sell the news event for Litecoin that with with the Litecoin halving news could be a sell the news event and Litecoin could drop and that worked out well. And my plan was to buy Litecoin at $50. I bought some at $50. I sold some here. I bought some at $45. I was down massively. If you're interested in all of the, again, this is not an after the fact. I recommend you go watch those videos to see why exactly why I was looking to buy at $50 and why I bought at $45. And then now I'm looking to sell some Litecoin. I'll be sharing with you that as well. And I'll be looking to get into Litecoin again because I do think it can have a rally. So let's have a quick study on what had happened last year so litecoin was at 24 dollars it dropped more than 95 or whatever percent i probably have to go on to the to the log chart to share with you how much it actually dropped So Litecoin was down 94%. So I didn't buy here because it could have just carried on. But on hindsight, I should have probably looked to have bought some when it hit that $25 mark. I got in here about the 32 range. You could see at a, it had a huge spike up. And that was different to any of the rallies previous. We've not really seen this sort of moves um, un but, uh, since over $100. We've not seen any moves like that. Again, now we've not seen a move like this where uh, it's it's had a pullback, it's had a higher low, it moved up, and the 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 volume increase, the the big candles. We've not really seen that here. So there is something different about this. That is why I'm thinking is is it might be good to buy a pullback, or if you're really interested, look for a trade on the shorter time frame. This is a trade that I took in Litecoin. I shared with uh, with the guys in the group. If you haven't subscribed uh, to this, guys, I'll leave the links below. You can check it out. I'll share with you exactly. I'll share with you a full trading course and I'll share with you exactly the trades I'm looking to take and I'll share with you trading plans of exactly where to buy with stop losses. I recommend you check it out. I'll leave the links below. So this is how I'm trading Litecoin now. I told, I've explained to you why this feels different to anything else. This could lit also be just a a pullback and then it could carry on dropping. But I think this looks like different. And Litecoin was the leading indicator back in 2019. Litecoin's break carried on. Uh, Litecoin led the bull rally and then Bitcoin followed. This is something similar that could be happening because Bitcoin is rallying as well. And Litecoin could be the one that is leading the rally again. So please keep an eye out for Litecoin, whether you like it fundamentally or not. I made a video uh, about my top 10 coins and I did not include Litecoin in it. And the reason for that is, I mean, I recommend you go watch the fundamentals video, but there are things fundamentally that I'm not hugely supportive of Litecoin. The Litecoin Foundation, Charlie Lee, the Litecoin team. I recommend you go watch that video for more information. But I'm just sharing with you my thoughts on it. But when the chart looks like this and it does what I say, uh, what the main thing I look for on a higher time frame, a higher higher high higher low and a breakout another higher high that is a really good sign i'm really interested in litecoin at the moment so where is the price of litecoin in now litecoin is at the 236 fibonacci level it is a very key fibonacci level and i don't look to buy something when it's at, at the 236 level one thing to note is guys we're above the 20 weekly moving average last few times we have had rallies we couldn't get above it now we could i mean it's only Wednesday we've not closed above uh, this but a close above this would be really interesting what I am expecting Litecoin now is to have some sideways movement have a bit of a pullback and then rally again 
as you can see here we had a huge weekly move up then we consolidated and then we had a push up so that is what I'm expecting to do I've actually sold some and that was a really nice trade if you look at the $45 mark it's about 30% move up and that is how you trade guys you have to take risk you have to be buying when things are dropping and buy when everyone is selling you have to do the opposite so that is my thoughts on Litecoin I think there might be some sideways consolidation coming if we break above 236 I will look to buy Litecoin because that will be really good uh, for buying pullbacks ideally I like to buy things around the 50 or 60 percent 618 Fibonacci level so I would be look I'd love to buy something around the $50 mark I'm not sure if we'll get it if we get get a pullback to the $50 mark guys I will buy Litecoin that will be my trading strategy we'll at least get a bounce if we drop to $50 mark we'll at least get a push up whether it goes into new highs I think we can easily gain about five six percent trade here if it drops to the $50 mark if not guys if you're more aggressive you could wait for a pullback trading strategy to around the 54 and my pullback is pullback to the moving average like this this is the one that I took this was another perfect pullback you can see this is a strategy that I teach I've got 15 hour 20 hour videos here guys uh, episodes explaining everything from support and resistance risk management and exact strategy with examples of how I look to trade that is a really good setup RSI finding support just below the 50 level breaks above the 50 level find support at my 20 moving average and then pushes up if we get a setup like that here around the 54 dollar mark it will be good but it won't be as good as it's here because the daily rsi is very oversold i like to like for it to cool back and then look to get in if you see here guys when rsi gets overextended it pulls back and then lets you in this is what i'd expect to do and if it does give me a pullback sort of to 50 dollars i would look to buy so that is my trading strategies and how i'm looking to trade litecoin hopefully this gives you some ideas make sure you subscribe to my channel litecoin could be popular it is one of the popular coins on my channel and if litecoin is moving i will be making a lot more videos on litecoin also make sure you check out my live stream every sunday guys i talk about the coins that could be breaking out last week i talked about tomo chain the exact setup worked really well eos is a coin that i talked about breaking out of this red zone we could see I had a huge move up i took a trade so make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button so you get notified when i'm going live sunday so thank you very much guys also thank you for helping me to reach 7,000 subscribers it really means a lot to me all your support so thank you very much for that to end the video guys my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on litecoin do you think litecoin could have a huge move up do you think it could go down also another thing i'd like to mention i forgot to mention is the litecoin btc chart is also coming to a big red resistance zone that is why i said i'm looking to take profit at the 236 level because if litecoin is below this red zone against btc it's not as bullish if it gets above this sort of zone guys it will be hugely hugely bullish and one thing i would say is guys whenever litecoin is coming to this range we've had had litecoin rallies so always keep an eye out for this guys we could potentially have another nice rally in litecoin btc as well so this is another chart i will be keeping an eye out for so anyways thank you very much for watching guys comment below your price predictions for litecoin and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much